following cooperative project is supported by state and provincial agencies working through the Agency for Instructional Television. Brad Nadig has a problem. He has a hard time dealing with stress. We've been here half an hour. What? Where's my order? Three burgers and a monster chili dog. Hey, give me a monster chili dog. They're leaving. Busy Nadig. Brad! Hey, fish, we want some food. They walked out. Let's have some food. Stress. What has brought Brad Nading to this unhappy state? Come with me now as we retrace the steps in Brad Nading's journey through stress. Obviously, this is made as a spoof. It's exaggerated, but I think in it you can find things that are real for you related to stress. Well, I've thrown food at people before. <laughs> I've, I've thrown the french fries at them. This lady came in and she started yelling at me about what kind of hamburger she wanted, half medium, half raw or something. <laughs> Then the boss told me, why couldn't I do it, you know, like that? And I said, you know, because it's not cooked right. Then he started getting on my case and told me to do it. And then she was sitting there yelling. I just felt like grabbing that burger and just smashing it. Andy? You got to watch how far you go with letting out your stress. Because, I mean, if you really let out everything, you could really hurt somebody. If I really start to realize what I'm doing, then I'll just stop and go to myself for a while and think about it and maybe talk to someone. Okay, here's another scene for you to look at with Brad. 10 a.m. Monday. Time for fun in school. I hope you've all read the assignment. I would like your answers to be as complete as possible. You have the rest of the period. An English exam. Our first stop on Brad Nadig's journey through stress. Let's look at some of the signals of stress. An upset stomach, sweaty palms, shortness of breath, his heart pounds fiercely, confusion, his face is flushed. What would Brad like to do right now? can't run from a test. Sooner or later, he'll have to take it. What should Brad do? Relax, calm down. For example, he could take slow, even deep breaths to counteract that tension. This would help him to think more clearly and take that test. Slow, deep breaths. See, everyone else knows that, but not Brad. He's on a journey through stress. Saved by the bell. Or is he? Once again, Brad is in trouble. I can understand why he feels that, because it's like that every period of the day. When you have a test, the teachers just pull that on you. I mean, you know it. But I guess it just adds to it, especially if you don't know the material that you're going to be tested on. I'm, I really worry. I mean, you worry, I do, I worry myself. And like, do I know this? Or maybe I didn't study enough, or maybe I didn't study the right thing. Andy. Well, uh, usually I talk to people more than I use the physical uh, outlet of stress. Um, I do that sometimes, but I find it doesn't help as much as just talking to somebody and getting it out that way. You should really sit down, you know, take a long, long time for yourself away. You know, think about it. Just think about what's really getting to you. You know, when I have a really hard time talking to people, I think about that and it gets me more stressed. And, you know, I like to take it out on something, so I started weightlifting a little while ago. You just start working out and throwing it around. It takes, you know, it just dissolves it. 3 p.m. Wednesday. 
about sports, the thrill of victory, and the sweaty stink of defeat. Oh. Sports, a refreshing outlet for the day's tensions. For some people. Nadig. Well, it looks like Coach Granger is going to lay it on the line. I'm going to lay it on the line, Brad. You're not going to wrestle on the varsity team this year. What? I've decided to put you on the heavyweight slot in the junior varsity. Why? Why? Look at that gut. You've really gotten out of shape. You're slow, you're sloppy. Coach, I'm not wrestling JV. Look, Pee Wee could beat you the shape you're in. He could not. I could. Pee Wee. Brad Nadig under stress. Swim to me, baby. Come on, fish, swim to me. <laughs> fish. All right, knock it off, you guys. Pathetic state, huh, coach? What was that? Don't worry, coach. I'm here. I'm following Brad Nadig's journey through stress. Oh, stress, huh? Yes. Didn't Brad used to be one of your best men? Yeah, but he really let himself get out of shape. <laughs> and his attitude is shot, too. You know, if Brad exercised more, he'd be in shape. And the physical workout would relieve some of that tension. You know, I tried to tell Brad the same thing, but he oh. doesn't listen to anybody. Coach! <laughs> Hit the showers, Nadig. Brad Nadig under stress. Not a pretty picture. You know, when he said the little shrimp guy could beat him like that, I mean, you know that's right there. That's got to be just pressure alone. And I would take the pressure from that, and I would change that into pressure to use against wrestling him. But I think what he should should have done was used it, but said, say, I'm going to work out. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to I'm going to lose this weight and come back on the team. Bobby, maybe one night I won't get into a basketball game because it's too many people, right? So I fixed our figuring, well, I'm not good enough. So what I, I'll go home and start running. I'll run all night long and start jumping rope, you know, until I get tired and go to sleep. Something else? I like to take long walks. Um, sometimes, you know, they can be miles long. I can end up in another neighborhood. I, I tried, you know, the, the pillow hitting thing, but it, it didn't work. So walking seems to be the one that's gonna stick. 5 p.m. Friday, chapter four in Brad Nadig's Journey Through Stress. Home, a shelter from the storm. Can Brad finally unwind and relieve some of those tensions? Where have you been? I made dinner an hour ago. If you're going to be late, you're supposed to call, right? You have to fix your own dinner now. I'm not hungry. Great. Then you can finish cleaning up the kitchen. Come on, Dad, give me a break. The oven looks like a pit. Well, it seems that home brings no relief at all on Brad's journey through stress. Who's that? Don't worry. I'm an all-knowing, disembodied voice. Oh. There's nothing to worry about. You one of Brad's friends? Yes. I'm following Brad on his journey through stress. What you made me do? I'm sorry. Stress, huh? Yes. I'll tell you about stress. I'm the one who's under stress. I got a kid who won't talk to me. A wife who just up and moved out of here. You ought to study me. You mean that you and your wife are separated? I thought you were all knowing. Yes. Well, uh, well that, that certainly explains a lot. Told you. Yes. 
It certainly does. Explains a lot about what? Brad's problem. You see, severe stress often occurs with some major change in your life and then builds for a variety of reasons. Your separation is a major change. Could this be the cause of Brad's stress problem? Be back later. You're not going anywhere. Stuart's having a party. I said you're not going anywhere. You haven't done one thing around here that I've told you to do. I'm going out. Now I'm going to have a good time for a change. Stress, huh? Tony. If you say the mother just up and left, that would be a reason to cause so many of the problems that Brad has been having. That would, you know, that's... For me, I see it as reason enough for him not to be able to study, not to concentrate on work, not to be able to concentrate on his sports. When it's together at home, it can be together at school. He can have a much more positive approach at school. Stacy, My parents are divorced and I live with my mother. And this has been like one of the closest years for my mother and I, but it's because of my father, because he's just been coming at me, coming at me, and telling me how to run my life when he wasn't there, and I've just really got a lot of stress from him, but I relieved that through my mother by talking to her about it. Like, I have the same situation. My parents are divorced, and I live with my father, except I want to live with my mother. You see, that, that can be stressful. I agree with everybody. You should talk it out with people, but you have to, it has to... Talking can only do so much if you don't believe it yourself. You need to find out what it is in yourself that you can use as a release of your stress that you might be feeling, whether it be talking to someone or just thinking the thoughts out, problem solving it, or ignoring it. Some people solve it that way. Whatever it is, they have to realize what that is and then do it. 11.47 Saturday. And so alone, Brad comes to the end of his journey through stress. Brad, Monster Chili Dog, they're leaving! Hey, fish. Brad, they walked out. Hey, fish. We want some food. Hey, let's go. They don't need that anymore. Let's have some food. Wait, Brad. Think. What have you learned? Good. Good. That's right, Brad. Oh, no, Brad. I can't believe he did that. Now I'm under stress. I, I can't let the film end like this. What'll I do? Oh, I know. I'll ask the class. The best way to deal with stress is to slow down and to find what's causing your problem. And you have to develop certain ways in which you can solve it, whether it be just talking to someone or being alone and thinking it out yourself or anything like that. He should try talking to his father, you know, if he hasn't already. Try to explain to him how he feels. He's going to have to improve himself in school. He's got to improve himself physically, whether it be weightlifting or talking to friends. They just need to find what it is that helps them and do it. So our hero finally gets it together, takes action, and stops the long ride on his journey through stress. On the Level is supported by state and provincial agencies and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting through the Agency for Instructional Television, together serving education.